Hey YouTube, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be retouching this image. Um, today I'm going to be using Retouch Academy panel. I'm going to show you how I do my frequency separation using Retouch Academy panel. Um, I got this image from Renak Photography. You could check him out on YouTube and on Instagram at Renak Photography. Um, I, he, I think he puts a link to um, his raw images. So I um, decided to give this image a try. So let's go and have some fun on Photoshop. So first of all, I'll zoom in my image. And um, with the Spot Healing Brush tool, I'll just go over and try to remove some blemishes from the image now I do this because I I just love doing it this way but some people can take off the blemishes after they've done their frequency separation but I prefer to do this before I do my frequency separation so I try to remove some unwanted hairs from her face. I'll just go through her face to take out hairs that seem to be misplaced. Just do this. Just like this. It's gonna take some time, but it's worth it. Take out these pimples too. Um, at this point, I think I will just speed up so I don't take too much time. Yeah. So um, see you when I'm done. So um, I will open up custom under frequency separation just wait for it to um, open yep then with my radios I normally use 4.6 it works out for me most of the time but to depend on the image you use then um, wait for it to um, open then I key in the same figure 4.6 then I press OK yep so um, now I open my folder for frequency separation then I select my low frequency layer then I come in and pick my mix abrasion tool I prefer using mixer brushing too because it works out best for me. Then I head over to my settings of the mixer brushing tool. I reduce my weight to um, about 20, not 30. Then my load, I take it to 32. Then mix, I take it to 30. And the flow, well, um, depends. Sometimes I leave it at 20, sometimes I leave it at 22. With the settings of the mixer brush tool, I normally use 30 for me wet, low 30, mix 30. Mix, I use 30, let me key in 30. Yep, and then um, my flow, I normally keep it between 20 and 22. Yep. Now I zoom in, zoom in to my image, then I increase my brush a bit. 
suicide I think that's good for me then I begin to paint let me zoom it in more now I begin to paint I make little strokes of the paint so um, it doesn't go over now don't forget to um, do not paint from shadows into highlights well me I, I normally paint only shadows then when I'm done I paint my highlights so at the moment I'm painting over my shadows not necessarily shadows but I just make sure I do not paint into layers yeah now whilst you paint try to um, check your before and after to make sure you're not overdoing it so um, I paint bit by bit this takes much time because you need to do it very carefully so that you don't overdo some parts more than other parts yeah so um just gently paint carefully just like I am doing mine yep so um, this is going to take some time so I think I would speed it up like I did before so that we would continue from the next step. Now uh, this is before and this is after, before and after. So now I'll zoom it in, this is before and this is after, see um, it has smoothened. The texture of the skin make it made it look more even than before now I will select my correcting tones um, then I head up to my um, settings I change my weight to 100 I pull it all the way up to 100 then I reduce my load to about 20 then my mix to I take it to um, 20 then um, my flow I keep it at 20 as well yep then I make sure I my sample all layers is checked then I head over to my image zoom it in a little bit Um, I increase my brush um, increase my brush then I I hide my high frequency texture layer increase my brush a bit then I begin to paint now this is just to make the layer more even and more smooth I just paint around my highlights like I did before do not paint too much into your highlights or paint too much from highlight into the surrounding layer or the surrounding skin or else you would make your um, skin look unmatched or it might look not nice so um, when you are doing your painting you should take your time 
Now let's see. This is before. This is after. Now let me put on my high frequency to check before. After. Before. After. Put out my high frequency again. Go back to my painting. Paint it one more time. Just like this. Now this takes a lot of time, but well, if if you need your image to look good, it should take all the time it needs. I continue to paint, and um, before, after, put on my frequent high frequency. Check before after put it out now I do this because I check and uncheck to see the progress I'm making so that if I've made any mistake in my painting I just um go back and then correct it so that I don't wait till I'm done then I realize I made some mistake somewhere that's going to be a bit difficult to um, go back to correct so um, as you do as you paint take your time to um, check your progress yeah so I um, continue to paint just like this I do not paint from highlights to low Check my before and after. Continue to paint. Just like this. Check. Um, paint a bit. Check my before and after. This looks good now um, when you're when you're painting on your correcting tone layer make sure to put off your high frequency texture make sure to put it off before you paint if not it's not gonna work so always make sure that before you um, paint on your correcting tones you put your high frequency texture layer off then if you want to check your progress can put it you can turn it on just like this now we can see the difference so um, paint paint around the eyes and around the cheekbone as you can see I am taking my time to paint in the shadows and in my highlights too I'm not just painting it anyhow half hazardly I'm taking my time to do it just like this so I could get an even tone for my skin just paint gently very very gently um so um you do this for every part of the skin and um make sure you don't paint the hair just concentrate only on the skin do not paint around the hair just on the skin this before after Paint on the lips. Yep. So um, I think I would speed up so it doesn't take too much time. Just like before, I'll just speed it up, and um, we we'll continue from the next step.
Yep, so I'm um, almost done with my painting, just paint a little bit around the neck. Yep, and I think I'm done. So I check, let me zoom out. Yep, put back on my high frequency separation. Now this is before and this is after. Zoom it in more so you could see the difference. Now, this is the before, as you can see, and this is after before. And after. So yes, um, this is how I do my frequency separation using Retouch Academy. If if you enjoyed or if you loved my tutorial, kindly do to subscribe, like, and share. I would I would um, be putting up more videos on how I do other retouches like. Um, cleaning up the eyes and um, the teeth and behind the scenes of some of my shoots yep so um thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share follow me on instagram at eric underscore photography and on twitter let's have some fun being photographers and retouches thank you